scalpel? Mm. You were right, Nurse Brims. This man is rotten inside. It's a bleeding ulcer. Those who care. Sponsored. Good. But you look handsome in your mask, hon. Hey. Oh, my nose didn't show, right? <laughs> yes, sir. delivery for Dr. Fairmont, care of Dick Preston. Oh. Here, please. Yeah. Hey, would you uh, <clears throat> sign this for my wife? She loves your show. Sure. <laughs> uh, hey, could you sign it, uh, Dr. Fairmont? She don't know who Dick Preston is. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Can I have the package? Oh, yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great meeting you, Dr. Fairmont. What is that, honey? Oh, it's another cake for Mrs. Ferguson. <laughs> hey, this is the first one she's ever sent to the house. I wonder how she got our address. You sent her a thank you note last time? Oh, yes. Well, that's how she got it. I should have scratched out our return address. Well, don't worry, honey. She's an old lady. She won't bother us. I hope you're right. How much do you think she's old? Because she makes old cakes. <laughs> Nobody under 80 makes authentic carrot cakes anymore. Oh, here it is. My dear Dr. Fairmount, I made the cake especially good this week because of the wonderful work you're doing with Martha. <laughs> May you live forever. <laughs> You'll always be my doctor, yours truly, Sally Ferguson. <laughs> and thank you. <laughs> you know, it sounds like she's confusing reality with fantasy. You've become Dr. Fairmont to her, huh? Well, that's tribute to my good acting. <laughs> Is he here? Is who here? Mr. Preston. Uh, no, he's uh, not. Oh, well, then I suppose that means that Dr. Fairmont isn't here either. <laughs> That's right. Are you by any chance, Mrs. Ferguson? Yes. Uh -huh. Is he still at the hospital? You mean the studio? Oh, yes. Uh, this is for him. Oh, my goodness. Well, we just got one from you yesterday. Oh, well, that was carrot. This is lemon. He's never had my lemon cake. I thought I'd bring it over myself since we live so close. You live close by? Oh, just 15 minutes by bus. <laughs> that is close. Uh, Mrs. Preston, if I'm not intruding, could I wait for him? You see, we've never met. Uh, well, he really won't be back for quite a while. Well, I don't mind. And, uh, well, and I have to take the baby off. I am intruding. I should have phoned before I came, but when you get to be along in years, you forget to do the little things you should, I suppose. Well, I'll just say goodbye then. Well, thank you for the cake. Oh, you're welcome. And may I say that you're just exactly what I thought Dr. Fairmont would have. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Hi, honey. Shh. What happened? Mrs. Ferguson. Ooh. She just left. What's she like? You're right. She's like her carrot cake. <laughs> what are you doing? I want to see what she looks like. Come on, nuts. I missed her. She's gone. Honey, what does she look like? Well, she's about five foot three. And she's very mm -hmm. sweet. And she said to tell you that I was very good for you. You know something? She's right about that. <laughs> Come here. Here. <laughs> Talking. It's Mrs. Ferguson. <laughs> I saw Thanks. your car in the driveway, and the back door was open. You should be careful about that. Anyone could walk right through that door. That's right. Well, so you're, you're Mrs. Ferguson. Yes. Imagine me standing in the same room with you, Dr. Fairmont in person. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> You've met my wife, Jenny. Oh, yeah. yes. Uh, doctor, I want to say I'm very sorry about barging in like this, but I did want you to taste my lemon cake. Well, that's very kind of you. Now I know I'm intruding and I'm going to run right along. Well, that's wonderful, Mrs. Ferguson. <laughs> God bless both of you. Especially you, Doctor. And you, too. Take good care of him. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Mrs. Ferguson. It was easier than I thought it was going to be. You know, that was really very thoughtful of her. I feel badly I should have offered her something. Yeah. You know, I'm surprised she didn't turn out to be a... <laughs> I think I spoke too soon. 
<laughs> I'm sorry to bother you like this, but I wonder if I could have a glass of water. I'm feeling a little faint. Oh, oh yes, come mm -hmm. in. Of course. Maybe you'd like tea. That might be better if you're feeling faint, huh? Well, uh, what do you think, Dr. Fairmont? <laughs> Uh, well, how faint do you feel? Well, just a little. Well, I'd do a little weak tea. That'd be fine. All right, I'll take it. Here you are. Let's have a seat, Miss Tracy. Well, you're the doctor. <laughs> there we are. I'm feeling better already. Well, that's good. Uh, you, uh, you send cakes to anyone else, Miss Ferguson? Oh, well, just to a very few people. I'm not promiscuous. <laughs> Who else do you send them to? Well, uh, Dr. Kildare, Dr. Welby, Dr. Gannon, Dr. Salk, and uh, Walter Cronkite. <laughs> Walter Cronkite, he's not a doctor. He should be. <laughs> You're my favorite. <laughs> Uh, where do you uh, live, Miss Ferguson? Well, I have a little room in the Parker Arms Hotel. Mm. I suppose I'm happy there. Well, yeah, you seem happy. <laughs> when Mr. Ferguson was alive, we had a nice house in Chatsworth. Mm. But I don't need the responsibility of a big house now. No, of course, you don't need that now. No, why would I need that? You don't. No. <laughs> When you have a house, you have stairs to climb and a yard to clean. Fence to fix. We didn't have a fence. Oh, sure, yeah, but you, you don't need a big house now. I don't need it. That's right. I agree with you. You don't know how much I miss that house. Well, that's what you do. You miss a house. It was the house where we brought up our son, Michael. Yeah, well, a house is the best place to bring up children, it's true. Michael's a wonderful son. Such a nice boy. Well, he sounds wonderful. He doesn't write to me. <laughs> He's probably busy. Oh, that's not important. No. Do you know what is important? Love. No. No. <laughs> Why don't you, whatever it is, I mean, it's probably very important. I, gee, that tea's taking a long time. I'm getting a little faint myself. Yeah. The important thing is that I'm his mother and he's my son. A letter wouldn't make me love him anymore. That's what's a letter anyway. I'm not a well woman, doctor. What's a doctor? I don't like to go to regular doctors. Regular? Real doctors. I don't like them. You don't like real doctors? Uh, look at these pills. My doctor prescribed for my arthritis. Now, you wouldn't prescribe pills like that, would you? Well, I, I'm not a doctor. So I'm an actor. So I act. I don't doc. I, I don't, know. <laughs> don't you know that? Of course I do. Good. Good. Would you do a favor for an old woman who doesn't have a great deal in her life? No. <laughs> what, what is it? Would you uh, look me over? Uh, uh, hey, Jenny? Huh? Miss Ferguson, uh, stay, stay dressed. I'll be, I'm going in the kitchen. Why? I would to have a consultation. <laughs> Button up. <laughs> small cups, small cups. <laughs> One swallow and she goes. What's the matter with you, Dick? I don't know, there's something wrong with her mind. What's wrong with her mind? She's out of it. She's crazy. <laughs> to, honey, she thinks I'm really a doctor. She thinks I'm her doctor. You sure? Do you know she wanted me to examine her? Oh, Dick, well, do you think we should well, get a real doctor for her? No, 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 she likes me. <laughs> My first groupie. <laughs> I hope I didn't upset you. Asking you all those questions just as if you were a real doctor, when I know as well as anyone else, you're only an actor playing a part. I must have given you quite a turn. Uh, Mrs. Ferguson, you do know the difference. Oh, well, of course I do. I guess I'm just a foolish old woman who likes to pretend that the people she likes the best are real. I suppose it's foolish. Now, uh, who's to say? Do you have a real doctor? Oh, heavens, yes, Dr. March. He's a very good man, but uh, he's very busy, has a gruff voice and cold hands. Well, I'm sure he has your best interests at heart. Oh, I'm sure. Please forgive an old woman for intruding, but you do portray Dr. Fairmont so well. 
I'm sorry I intruded, and if you don't want me to, I won't even send any of the cakes anymore. Oh, no. Oh, my, no, you keep sending those cakes. We love them. They're delicious. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Well, thanks again, Miss Ferguson. <laughs> Goodbye. Take Goodbye. care now. Do you know what I would really like better than anything else in the whole world? Your cup of tea. No. I'd love to see how you make your show. Oh, well, Miss Ferguson, we don't have an audience for that show, and it's pretty boring to watch. Well, Jenny's been down there. Yes, it, it is pretty boring. Yeah, you have no idea. I mean, I'm bored there. <laughs> there isn't a great deal to do. Miss Preston, I very seldom have a great deal to do. Yeah, yeah, actually, it, you might find it very exciting. Oh, you mean I wouldn't be in the way? Yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't. Oh, I'll be as quiet as a mouse, oh, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Fairmont. Uh, Preston. <laughs> and thank you, Doctor. Actor. <laughs> well, she goes in and out. <laughs> I cannot believe that all those pains I had all those months were just nerves. Nobody is going to believe that. I believe that. You wrote it. Listen, could I just say one thing? All right, but hurry up, please. All right, Henrietta, may I call you Henrietta? No. Fine. Listen, you've got a drunken husband, a wild daughter, a lascivious uncle. You're overdrawn at the bank. I mean, you should have nerves. Nerves are perfect for her, Max. I would like her to have nerves. She's got nerves. Let's rehearse okay, them. Okay, take it from the top again. Five. I tell you, they should not let writers on the set. They're neurotic and they get in the way. <laughs> Martha, my dear, you have nerves. That's all. I'm so miserable, Doctor. Martha, why should you be miserable? <laughs> Dr. Fairmont, somebody's mother is on the set. <laughs> Mrs. Ferguson, you're not allowed on the set. Oh, my goodness, is this the set? Well, where do I go to be off the set? I don't want to get you in any trouble. Oh, Martha, I brought these for you. <laughs> who is this? Someone who cares. <laughs> Dick! Who is this? Max, I'd like to meet Mrs. Ferguson. Not now. We've got a show to do. Well, Max, I, I told her she could come down and watch the taping. You, you know, she's the lady who sends all those cakes. So with the carrots? Yeah. Get her out of here. Well, Max, <laughs> all right, could she maybe just go up in the uh, green all room? All right, all right. Dennis, what? take Mrs. Uh, carrot Cake to the green room. Uh, all right, all right. C come on, man. We'll, we'll go off to the green room. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a little room, and you can watch everything through the window. Oh, like an operating room. Almost. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm not the least bit bored. <laughs> I'm sorry, Max. Let's rehearse. Alex? Okay, there's no time, Max. The tape is rolling. Are you ready, Henrietta? Can you take these damn okay. things and From the top, here we go. Those who care, episode 3174. Nerves. <clears throat> I tell you, the lack of sensitivity on this set is second to none. <laughs> Martha, my dear, you have nerves. That's all. I'm so miserable, Doctor. But, Martha, why should you be miserable? I mean, after all, you'll be out of the hospital soon. Your divorce from Bill will be finalized within the month. And as for your daughter, many prostitutes leave town. <laughs> Change their names and marry nice young men. It's not too late, Martha. Brad. Thanks, Martha. Dr. Gillette was here this morning. Mm -hmm. He indicated that what I had was much more than just nerves. Mm -hmm. Martha. You cannot have an operation simply because the man you love thinks you need an operation. No. Brad, I've decided. I'm going to go ahead with the operation. She's back. Oh. Cut it! Cut! Martha, listen to Dr. Fairmont. He knows. Get her! You don't need that operation! Get her away from me! Please, Miss Ferguson. Who let her out? Get it! Miss Ferguson, you're ruining our taping. You're not supposed to be on the set. Well, I don't want to be on the set. Uh, I don't know when I'm on the set. Where is the set? You're on it, Mrs. Ferguson. <laughs> Doctor, I am not going to stand here and see all your good work for this woman go down the drain. Dennis! Max, I'm sorry. I put her in the green room. How do you know you love Dr. Gillette? How do you know feeling be your own sister? Who is this woman? Get her out of here. We have to finish taping in 30 minutes. Okay, Miss Ferguson, you have to go home. Come on, lady. You are the best doctor in the country, and you won't listen to him. She'll listen. I'll make her. I'll make her. Your Dr. Gillette is a quack. Oh! I'm getting very nervous. Someone get this lady off the set. Andy, I'm trying. I can't carry her off now, okay? You know why your husband drinks? I'll tell you why. Because you're stubborn. <laughs> that is it. I 
cannot perform in a circus atmosphere. Dick! Mrs. Uh, Ferguson, Dennis is going to get you a nice cab. I am? Yes, he's going to see that oh, you get oh, home oh, safe. Do I suppose I've got you into a lot of trouble? No. no. Goodbye, Martha. I'm sorry we had words. Well, goodbye. Goodbye already. But did we see you around the hall? Come on, Mrs. Ferguson, really. We've got to go. <laughs> This is the most exciting afternoon of my whole life. Being on the set, wherever it is. Dennis! Here, here I am. Let's go. Are, are we off the set now? Max, I'm sorry. So am I. Well, Dick, at least we know we're reaching the people. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the people are also reaching us. <laughs> you know, the thing is, I think she doesn't know the difference between real and unreal. She's like a lot of people these days. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, I think she likes Unreal better, you know? So do you. Me? Yeah. How did I get lumped in with Mrs. Ferguson? Well, you have said you like Owen Marshall better than our own lawyer. <laughs> and he said you'd rather live with the Waltons than here. See, I got no more onions in my cheese. Oh, gosh, I'm glad. Oh, good. Hello. Yes, may I speak to Dr. Faramont, please? Why? <laughs> because I have a patient of his down here. Down where? At the city hospital. I'm Dr. March. Oh, yeah. We're, uh, we're talking about Mrs. Ferguson, aren't we? Uh, uh, Dr. March, let me explain this. Mrs. Ferguson has had a fall. Oh, my! Mrs. Ferguson fell down. How is she? Her hip will need uh, corrective surgery, and uh, she won't let anyone else touch her but you. Right. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Marshall, I can't operate. Well, Dr. Fairmount, I'm... No, 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 wait, wait. I'm not Dr. Fairmount. You're not? I play Dr. Fairmount. You what? I'm, I'm Dick Preston. I'm, I'm, I'm an actor. I'm talking to an actor? <laughs> Mrs. Ferguson likes to think that I'm a, I'm a real doctor. You see, I play on a soap opera. Those who care... You're a soap opera doctor, is that it? Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, look. Uh, are you a good actor, Mr. Preston? Well, yeah, I think so. All right, look, I'd like you to come down to the hospital right away. If we don't look after this thing immediately, well, there could be complications, and she won't go into the operating room unless you tell her to. Yeah, I see. All right, doctor. Look, I'll be right down there. Uh, oh, hey, I don't have a costume, a uh, uniform. We'll get you a costume. I'll, I'll need the uh, stethoscope. Let me get yes, yes. We have them. We oh, have got them. Yes, yes, we have them. <laughs> how, how, how do I look? If I looked as good as you, I'd get into gynecology and make a fortune. What am I supposed to do? She needs an operation. Just talk her into it. Well, I hope I can. I want to tell you something. I'm nervous. Oh, well, now, come, Mr. Preston. You've done this a million times on television. My wife tells me that you are the best doctor on television between two and five, and there's no glasses in those. Oh, I use them on the show just for character. Yeah, I guess I'll just I'll hold them like this. Ah, okay. We do just stay here and wake her up gently and convince her that she needs the operation. I'll be back as soon as I finish my rounds. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Miss Ferguson? How is she, doctor? Oh, why, well, she's doing as well as can be expected. How are you doing there? I broke my ankle. Oh, it's a shame. Stay off it and get a lot of rest. <laughs> Take good care of her, Doctor. She's a lovely woman. Yes, she is. We're doing everything we can. You just roll along now. <laughs> Dr. Fairmont, I knew you'd come. You're truly one of those who cares. Those who care? Dr. Fairmont. You're not a doctor, you're a phony baloney. Sir, I'm going to ask you to restrain yourself. This is a house of medicine. <laughs> Mrs. Ferguson, do you know who this guy is? He's an actor. He's not a doctor. Please, sir. He's not even that yourself. good an actor. Would you like an enema? <laughs> Keep that under your tongue now. Oh, there we are. How am I? Well, you're going to be just fine, Mrs. Ferguson. Dr. March wants to operate on me. Well, Dr. March is a very good man. Yes, but he hasn't got your kindness or your warm hands. His hands went to a good medical school. Right. All right, Dr. Right. Balloon. 
Oh, go back to your room. I'll rest here. Thank you, Barton. <laughs> oh, uh, Marta, I'm glad you're here. I'd like to confer with you on uh, Miss Ferguson's condition. What is your diagnosis? Well, Parker? I haven't finished my examination as yet. Well, finish it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no question about that. I recommend an operation immediately. Do you agree, Marsh? Yes, I, I agree. And I'm glad to see it my way. Dr. Marsh, prepare for surgery immediately. Yes, well, uh, what about two hours, doctor? Oh, yeah, two hours. Fine. That's very good to give a chance for that pelvic structure there to stitch and where you make the pelvic neck and knee. You're in good hands, Mrs. Ferguson. Thank you, Dr. Fairbond. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget you. March, take over. Got rounds. <laughs> Her march. Dr. Fairmont's a wonderful man, isn't he? he oh, yes, there are some things he can handle better than I can. It was so nice of you to make me a cake. Oh, I love doing it. I put it over here. Did you enjoy Dick's show today? He called the nurse Mrs. Ferguson. He did? <laughs> no, I didn't see it. You didn't see the show? Oh, I haven't seen it for about a week. I've been so busy playing gin, rummy, and visiting. <laughs> oh, with who? With Myron. He's been very good company. Oh, you'd best be running along. Myron's due any minute now. And oh, he doesn't like Dick Preston. He thinks he's a phony baloney. <laughs> I think you're just jealous. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs>